In this problem, we're going to take a look at a binomial probability distribution. Very similar to a probability distribution, but this time with binomial, you only have two outcomes, either success or failure. Now, instead of using the formula that's in the PowerPoint, I'm going to show you how to use StatCrunch to find the probability, which is a lot easier. It says, based on a poll, 50% of adults believe in reincarnation. Assume that seven adults are randomly selected and find the indicated probability. Complete parts A through D below. So it says, what is the probability that exactly six of the selected adults believe in reincarnation? Okay, so first let's go ahead and open up StatCrunch. Side by side view here. Okay, I'm going to go to Stat, Calculators, and then Binomial. Okay. Now n, this is the number of selected adults. This is the sample size, which is 7. And then p, this is the probability of success. So it says, based on a poll, 50% of adults believe in reincarnation. So probability of success is 50%. And 50% as a decimal is 0 0.50, or you could just leave it as 0 0.5. It's the same thing. Now for part A, it's saying the probability that exactly six of the seven adults. So I'm gonna put over here where it says probability of, I'm gonna put equal to, and then change this to six. This means the probability of exactly six out of the seven believe in reincarnation. So let's go ahead and click on compute, and now this is my probability. So the probability that exactly six of six adults believe in reincarnation round to three decimal places, this would be 0 0.055, 0 0.055. Okay. Now for the next part, for part B, it says, what is the probability that all of the selected adults believe in reincarnation? So to find the probability that all of the selected adults believe in reincarnation, that means we're trying to find out the probability of seven successes out of seven adults. So I'm going to change this to P of X equal to seven. Click on compute. And then I'm going to round this to three decimal places. This gives me 0 0.008. Okay. Now part C, what is the probability that at least six of the adults believe in reincarnation? Now, when it means at least six, that means six or more. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this equal to into greater than or equal, and I'm gonna put six. So this means six or more, or equivalently either exactly six successes or seven successes. So let's click on compute, and then round to three decimal places. This gives us 0 0.063. And I would have gotten the same result if I added parts A and B together. That would have also gave me 0 0.063. So now it's saying if seven adults are randomly selected, is six a significantly high number who believe in reincarnation? So remember, when we're trying to figure out if it's significantly high or significantly low, we have to take a look at the more extreme value, which would be six or more. So now the probability of six or more is 0 0.063. Now, since this is greater than 0 0.05, that means it's not significant. So let's take a look at our no answer, so either B or D. No, because the probability that six or more of the selected adults believe in reincarnation is less than 0 0.05. Well, that's not less than 0 0.05, it's greater than it, so it should be D. Okay, perfect. 